It's as easy as a few taps on your smartphone, ordering a ride to take you to your destination. If you're getting in the car with a stranger, you don't know one thing about this person. That's yeah. the fact that Lexington police say so many rideshare customers seem to forget. When it's time to go home, it's time to get totally focused on, okay, I'm leaving the city, I'm leaving the fun. Now it's time to get serious about getting home. Police say the first thing to do is to have a plan to avoid being in a car by yourself. Then if there's a place that you can kind of wait around so people don't just see you standing there on the side of a street and just pull up and you just hop in. Look at the license plate, just make sure that's the correct thing. Look at the driver's name, ask the driver's name. I would even, you know, ask for the driver to show me a proof of ID. You know, I don't ask, don't don't walk up to the driver and say, are you such and such? Because now you've given them the information that he needs to just say, yes, I am. Next, he suggests taking a picture of the car and driver and send the info about your ride to a friend. He also said to sit in the back seat, watch the route they're taking, call 911 the moment the ride feels off, and get out of the car if you can, breaking the window if necessary. We're always preaching as police officers, do the right thing. Don't, don't uh, drive home, drive, you know, if you get too drunk, you know, find a safe way home, take a, take a taxi, whatever, and we're preaching that, and then somebody actually does it thinking they're doing the right thing, and then a tragic incident happens like this. A tragic incident that police say can be more easily deterred if passengers keep their guards up. Covering the news, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.